Okay, so this is my uh, daughter's two-month update. I'm going to start off talking about um, clothing I like, um, her diapers, that kind of thing. Um, the first, This is the first diaper that she ever wore, and she's already moved up to the next setting on this um, because before it was overlapping. So, and this is a... Hawaii good night heavy wetter diaper um I wanted to also show my two favorite diapers to put her in at the moment they are also kawaii um the first one is a snap and it is a minky material so it's nice and soft um and the second is also kawaii and it is a heavy duty and it's velcro okay um this is the first little dress that my daughter was able to fit into. She is somewhere around nine pounds right now. She has, she still wears newborn diapers, but she is just now starting to wear zero to three months and she can wear some three month clothing depending on how small it is. Um, what's different about this month um, than the first month? She is definitely trying to uh, make noises and talk back to people. Uh, she's definitely got way grabbier. She, she likes to pull hair and take your glasses off your face if you know if you're holding her and glasses on. She might you know try to get them. <laughs> um, she still really, really loves to be held. She doesn't really like to be by herself. She's kind of nosy. Um, she's happy as long as she's sitting up, looking around. Uh, she she still loves people. She loves everybody. Uh, she'll go to just about anybody. If they're willing to give her some attention and hold her up so she can see, she will sit in their lap. Um, she is super at holding her head up now. Um, probably for the past, let's see, probably since week seven, she has been able to hold her head up no problem. And she is so alert. She, she's nosy, so she just, she wants to know what's going on. Um, and she finally, the weather is finally pretty enough. She finally got to go outside for her the first time. And, um sit on a comforter and play in the sunshine a bit. She loved that. Uh, let's see, what else did she do? Um, oh, and in disposable diapers, she is starting to move up to a size 1, and she is still having to wear the pamper sensitive because of her allergic reactions. Um, as far as Soap, we were using Burt's Bees, but I thought it was giving her an allergic reaction, so we went back to the Johnson soap, but um, the reaction didn't seem to go away, and we hadn't changed detergents or anything, but it's not bad or anything, so I'm going to keep her off the Burt's Bees soap for mm, at least another few weeks to see if it was that for sure, so... She's finally, finally laying on her belly a bit. Um, to start with, she refused to lay down on her belly. She refused to lay on her back. And mainly, I think the reason was because she wanted to sit up and see everything. So when she was on her back, all she was doing was staring at the ceiling or staring at toys that I had hung over her. So she... Um, Likes sitting on her, still doesn't like on her back, but she likes her belly because she can sort of push herself up with her arms now. And where she can hold her head up, she can look around the room. So that is something new that she started to do only within, she started to do that about week eight. Let's see what else. <laughs> she, she definitely is going to be a handful. She's um, already pushing up with her legs. She, if you hold her up, she, man, she, boy, she tries to stand. So, and um, she loves to kick. Oh, she just to beat 90. She just kicks away. Um, she does have her um, 
next doctor's appointment, and I believe that's the first one where she gets her shots, and that's in, at the end of, what is this month, January, February, March, it's the end of March, and she turned two months on the 18th, and her doctor should be the 24th, I believe, I think that's a Monday, um, it's around 23rd, 24th, I think that, I'm not sure what exactly day the Monday is, and she isn't to the point where she will hold stuffed animals or anything yet, but she definitely, um, will pull her blanket up or such if she's, like, in her car seat and stuff like that, because she's really started to put stuff in her mouth already, um, I, I'll catch, she'll grab my finger and she'll pull it up to her mouth and she'll be licking my finger and her blanket, she pulls them up and she's licking all over them. And if you hold her against your chest, she will lick you. Maybe gnaw on your shirt a little bit. And we believe that she may be starting to teeth a little bit early. Um, we're expecting within the next few weeks or so that her top two teeth are going to start to come because you can already start to see them. Um, they're already starting to um, break through the skin, which is kind of early for her to teeth, but some babies that happens a little bit earlier than others, so um, sh lately she's been sick. Um, I've switched her formula, a few, I've had to switch her formula a few times, now she is on soy formula because she was having um, lots of constipation and gas issues and stuff like that. So um, we had to switch that and I am still breastfeeding her. Um, she likes the breast milk the best but it does not keep her full like the formula does. I try to give her, because well, I don't make enough milk to just breastfeed her. So I feed her breast milk all through the day and then give her formula at night so she sleeps better. So, um, she hasn't had too many problems with the soy, but she was sick, um, the last few days. We're not really sure what caused that. We just think that she had picked up a virus or something that just made her stomach feel really bad and, um, made her throw up her food a few times, or her milk a few times. So, she seems to be better today and having no issues, so I don't think it was, um, the formula or anything like that. And, let's see, I think that is, I think that's about it, um, I don't have any idea how long she is now because she's terrible to try to get to measure her, and we haven't been to the doctor yet, so I will know, um, in about a week or so, so... Thank you for watching.